Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we are discussing the questions and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Functional Consultant PL200. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this content helpful, please let us know in the comments. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. To get the complete list of questions and answers, please click on the playlist link provided in the description. Question is, a user need to create a Power App Portal app. The user is getting the permission denied error when creating a portal app. You need to configure permissions to create the portal app. Which three permissions should you configure? Each correct answer presents part of a solution. Option A, in the Power Platform Admin Center, ensure that the user account has read-write access. Option B, in Azure Active Directory, assign the contributor role to the application at the subscription scope. Option C, in the Azure Active Directory, ensure that the user has permission to register an app. Option D, in the Power Platform Admin Center, change the portal app owner to user. Option E, in the Power Platform Admin Center, ensure that the user has a system administrator security role. The correct answer is option A, C and E. Moving to the next question. The company collaborates by using Microsoft Teams. You must create the Power Apps directly from within a Teams channel. The app will be used by the members of the channel to manage sales order. You need to create an app by using Dataverse for the Teams. How should you create the app? Option A, create the Canvas app by using Power App Personal App in Teams. Option B, create the Canvas app by using App Studio app. Option C, use the Power App Web Designer. Option D, create a model driven app by using App Studio app. The correct answer is option B. Next is, a company uses Power App to and Power Automate. There is an issue with the existing flow in the test environment. Development changes are allowed in the test environment. You need to troubleshoot the issue with the flow. Which command should you use? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. See the actions and the command. The action is to enable changes to the flow. The command are add existing remove, edit or turn off. The action is to enable changes to the object. The commands are edit, publish, turn off. This is the correct answer. To enable changes to the flow, the command should be add existing and to enable the action enabling changes to the object, the command should be turned off. Next one. A farm uses a campus app, canvas app to manage schedules for planting fields with crop seeds. The farm uses business intelligence to provide recommendations for schedule changes based on weather data. You must implement a business rule that changes information for several forms in Canvas app based on the business intelligence data. You need to configure the business rule which scope should you use. Option A table. Option B all forms. Option B form specific. The correct answer is option A. If you are preparing for any Microsoft Base certification, please refer to the link given in the description for the list of valid and updated questions and answers. Keep supporting us. Thank you.